Notorious, notorious. Alright, what is going on everybody? It's John here and I am back with another commentary and today I am going to be giving you guys my honest opinion and first impressions on the Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War multiplayer reveal trailer. Now, first things first, before I get into this video, I want to real quickly apologize for the lack of uploads recently. As you guys may all know, I am officially back to school and you guys know what that means. Every day I gotta wake up except for the weekend obviously at 7:55, be ready to turn on my computer and join my classes through a zoom session or google meet session and <laughs> oh my goodness guys i know we're living in different times but although i am not back to school physically at least at the very moment i am still getting pretty busy specifically with homework in fact i'm not even recording this video on the same day the multiplayer trailer released no i'm recording it two days later for the sole reason that i was busy with homework on the day this trailer released oh man trust me guys if i had no homework at all i would probably still be daily uploading i would have kept my daily upload streak i had going on during the summer and continued it if homework was not a thing for me <laughs> it's not even school or like the time my class starts and the time i get out no because i start at 7 55 and i get out at 12 7 that gives me more than enough time to do everything else i need to do throughout the day so again guys i apologize for the lack of uploads recently i really want to continue uploading a lot more because there has been a great amount of content releasing for season 5 in modern warfare and I really want to make a bunch of videos on that before season 6 starts. So again, I apologize for the lack of uploads recently. I have been trying my hardest to record and upload as many videos as I can, but at the same time, I want to make sure that I put in more quality than quantity. I don't want to start focusing on uploading more videos and then the quality starts to drop. No. That is not what I'm trying to do just because I try to rush them out since I had a bunch of homework to finish. Oh man, just saying the word homework pisses me off, man. And thinking about homework now, I got a couple of assignments due this Sunday and Monday. So, <laughs> man, you know what? Let's just move on. I'm done talking about this. So, about the Black Ops Cold War multiplayer reveal trailer. Let me start off by saying that the trailer was absolutely badass. Everything about this trailer was amazing. For example, the music. That was probably one of the best songs they could have chosen for this trailer since it best fits the theme of it and ever since I've listened to it <laughs> it's been stuck in my head all day. The colors were beautiful which is pretty much a given because this is Treyarch we are talking about. Treyarch has been known for creating many colorful Call of Duty games such as Black Ops 4, Black Ops 3 and even Black Ops 2 and Black Ops 1. <laughs> Especially when we make thumbnails. I mean, it's very appealing to the eye whenever you're making a colorful thumbnail in a game that is already very colorful. And this was something that I noticed right off the bat because, I mean, if you were to compare the colors in Black Ops Cold War to Modern Warfare, you could definitely notice a difference there. The setting was quite interesting. It turns out that we are going to be playing multiplayer during the year 1983 and we are going to be traveling from place to place. From Miami to the North Atlantic to the Rural Mountains to Angola etc. The graphics were obviously beautiful it was mentioned at the beginning of the trailer that this gameplay was captured on the PS5 so that's pretty much a given as well and although I am not a PC gamer I have never played Call of Duty on the computer I wonder what the graphics will look like on PC with the max settings that's for sure going to be out of this world. The cinematics were insane and that's pretty much a given as well because Call of Duty has always been known for having amazing cinematics in their trailers and this one is no different. And finally Finally, the gameplay was without a doubt sick. Based off of what we were able to see in the trailer, such as the movement, the time to kill, the weapons, etc., it is looking to be a very amazing game. Interestingly, the health is going to be 150 once again, like it was back in Black Ops 4, but from what I've heard, it's going to be slightly faster than BO4. So I'm guessing that the health is going to feel more like 125 than 150, and that is also pretty interesting because a lot of people back in BO4 were begging for 125 health instead of 150 so we might be getting that this time around. Although health regeneration is making a return just like it did in Modern Warfare and I'm not exactly sure if we're going to be able to manually heal ourselves with a stem shot like we could in Black Ops 4 and Modern Warfare but I'm guessing we will be able to because Modern Warfare has a stem shot and there's already auto health regeneration in that game. As for the movement it is looking very nice and the one thing I'm very happy about is the fact that there is no super sprint no double clicking your joystick and messing it up every couple months or so and having to replace it 
movement. Don't get me wrong, super sprinting was I guess a pretty cool idea, but the only thing I hated about super sprinting was the fact that it would mess up your joystick and you would have to replace it every couple months or so. Sliding is also making a return and I am 100% okay with that because sliding has always been done correctly by Treyarch like in Black Ops 3 or Black Ops 4, so I'm not too worried about that, but from what I've heard, sliding has no recharge, meaning that you can slide back to back every single time without having to wait one or two seconds to slide again. Therefore, I hope that this is a glitch that was unintentional and Treyarch is going to fix this before the beta or possibly before the full game because I don't think infinite sliding is going to be a great idea. We got the chance to see a couple OG fan favorite weapons making a return such as the Commando which I am super hyped for and I cannot wait to use this weapon once again. Hopefully it is ready for the beta. The M16 which I am also excited for and even the War Machine which is a bit interesting to me because I wonder, is the War Machine going to be a launcher? Maybe a field upgrade or is it going to be a score streak like it was back in Black Ops 2? Hmm, I guess we'll have to wait and see. But it for sure will not be a specialist weapon. And by the way, speaking about specialist weapons, that and specialist abilities will not be making a return for Black Ops Cold War. So if you were worried about that, well, you don't have to worry about it no more. And much more guys, there was a lot more that was shown in this trailer and I felt that this was a pretty long multiplayer reveal trailer compared to the previous reveal trailers we have gotten in the past for multiplayer. Now, I will admit two things. Number one, when I first saw this trailer, I thought we were only seeing ground war gameplay. No team deathmatch, no free for all, no domination, no hardpoint, no 6v6, nothing like that, just ground war. It was just way too crazy to be 6v6. You had people riding ATVs, even dirt bikes if I'm not mistaken, flying helicopters, riding tanks, which that is going to be interesting. We even got some water action going on, people were riding boats, and even ziplining from one ship to another. So. It was just chaotic, I didn't think that was 6v6 at all. But it turns out that two or three of these maps in the trailer were 6v6 and the rest were ground war, which is 12v12, so that's pretty good. I'm guessing there's going to be more 6v6 maps ready for the beta and obviously the full game, so I'm not too worried about that, but oh my goodness guys, again, I really thought this was only ground war gameplay. <laughs> the gameplay was way too chaotic. And number two, the gameplay was honestly a little bit different than I originally anticipated because I thought that it was going to look a lot like Black Ops 1 since it is taking place during the Cold War just like BO1 did but instead it looks more like a mixture of Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2 and Black Ops 4 combined which is not bad at all that is looking pretty sick so far like I said. I just cannot wait to get my hands on the beta which by the way the beta dates have officially been posted and I will go ahead and put them up on the screen for you guys to see and the first day is going to be October 8th for PS4 players and oh my goodness guys I cannot wait I cannot wait that day cannot come any faster I just cannot wait to get the feel of the game like the movement the time to kill the weapons especially the commando hopefully that's ready for the beta and the sound effects everything oh yeah and guys don't think I'm forgetting about that teaser we got at the very end of the trailer no 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 I am not forgetting about it in fact I'm gonna be talking about that for a separate video not in this video because I got quite some things to say about that but anyways that is pretty much going to be my honest opinion and first impressions of the Black Ops Cold War multiplayer reveal trailer. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to drop a like if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new and turn on post notifications so you guys are notified every single time whenever I upload. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys personally thought about the MP reveal trailer. Did you guys think it was amazing? It was outstanding? Disappointing? Maybe a little bit different than anticipated like I thought? Anything let me know. Again it might have been a little bit different than I anticipated but it is still looking very very good and oh my goodness guys I am super hyped man I cannot wait for October 8th man that day needs to come faster but anyways for the last time thank you guys so much for watching if you haven't already make sure to drop a like and hope you guys have a nice and wonderful Sunday and with all that being said it's been John ready to get back on the grind and play some Black Ops Cold War oh I cannot wait for that beta and I'm out peace